Republic of Kenya to state our case. Viongozi kutoka kaunti ya Mandera wamechukua msimamo madhubuti wa kupendekeza marekebisho katika bunge la kitaifa ili kuharakisha maandalizi ya uchaguzi mdogo wa eneo bunge la Banisa. Eneo bunge hilo limekuwa bila mbunge tangu kufariki kwa Kulo Maalim Hassan mapema mwaka huu. Mbunge wa Mandera Kaskazini Bashir Abdullahi akisistiza kutatuliwa haraka kwa hali hiyo akieleza kuwa kuchelewa zaidi kutasababisha mahangaiko mengi kwa wakazi wa eneo hilo. Abdullahi amekariri kuwa wamepata uungwaji mkono kutoka kwa wabunge wa maeneo ya wafugaji. Kumshinikiza afisa mkuu mtendaji wa tume ya uchaguzi na mipaka IBC kuchapisha kwenye gazeti rasmi la serikali afisa atakayesimamia uchaguzi mdogo wa Banisa. Nimeleta mswada wa bunge ambaye iko tayari next week ambaye tutaipeleka ndani ya kusema ya kwamba kama hakuna chairperson ama commissioners tumpatie mamlaka the IPC CEO ndo aweze kugazette the returning officer and to conduct by election upper banisa it's very sad that we have lacuna in the constitution that has created a situation where it has not been foreseen that there will be a time such a time that all the commissioners will be out of office and there has not been any provision in law for the commi i mean commission secretary to be able to do by election as required and this issue has gravely affected banisa constituency seven months without member of parliament without enjoying the benefits of development of cdf and representation at national level is a very sad issue it's a very painful thing as a party the party leaders already hinted that you're going to court to seek for the direct um, uh, order by the court to IBC so that at least as we struggle with the amendment of the IBC Act and continue with bi bipartisan talks, these people, Vanessa constituency, get a representative. Na mtazamaji kwa taarifa hiyo tunaingia madukani tunazo taarifa zaidi. Mwodo soko kwa mrefu tutakueleza kuhusu masaibu ya wenyeji wa Butere wanaohangaishwa na magenge na kusihisi ndimbali.